It's not every day. I install a vapor stat instead of a pressure troll, but when I do, it's by Honeywell. All right, we're heading over to our next service call uh, in um, kind of like near Floral Park, central Nassau County, more, more closer to the Queens border on Long Island in New York. Um, customer's got a steam system and he's got a radiator on the first floor that's furthest from the boiler and she's spitting out water out of the air valve on the side of the radiator. Generally what that means, generally, generally what that means, we got a clogged wet return. So let's go see what's going on over there. The gentleman sent me over some pictures. I know we've been over here once before. Uh, replaced a valve on said radiator um, a while ago. I don't know, I didn't look it up exactly. I know we were there a while ago, replaced a radiator, uh, steam radiator uh, valve. So let's go see what's going on and uh, let's learn something new today, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. So let's take a look. Here is the gas vent is for appliances that burn gas. Do not connect to solid or liquid burning appliances or incinerators. This gas vent. What oh, gas vent? <laughs> okay. Anyway, here is a Whale McLean EGPG uh, gas fire steam boiler. Uh, we come up here. We have two steam mains. Um, comes up. This picks up the first one. This picks up the second. This is the equalizer. Here is our wet return. There's our boiler feed right there. There's a backflow prevention device. Here's our wet return off of this main here. This main right here comes across there. Keep shooting across to here. And then we have a radiator right there and a radiator upstairs. This radiator's uh, leaking water every time the boiler's on, and the one upstairs sometimes. It was never done right, and it's never gonna work. Here's the one on the second floor. They tried to use this thermostatic valve. See, there that is. That's not gonna work. Pretty cute, but it's not gonna work. Second floor, here's the other one. We have a contraption here to catch the water because it's always spitting out. We have this radiator valve, inch and a quarter. All right. And when the system is running, it uh, spits water out of here. So let's turn the heat on. All right, our pressure gauge is in reading zero. Our sight glass is kind of dirty. We should probably definitely put a steam boil treatment in this. What is this for? Oh, uh, they're running it off the bottom loop here. Is there a check valve anywhere here? No, there's an IFC in there, but you need a check valve on this line as well. That's probably why the basement zone doesn't work, but uh, popping the relief valve. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's more than zero PSI. So let's kill the power. Let's get this cover off. Let's check that pigtail out. Right, let's disconnect the Phillips screwdriver. And that pressure troll is reading all the way down already. Okay, now let's move those out of the way. Now, if we left the power on and we touched metal to this, it'll sure. short out transformer. So let's take this off. We definitely have a clogged pigtail, bad pressure troll. We're gonna move this one, we move very carefully, right? Cause well, there's no pressure in it now though, but let's take that off. Okay, doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it, but let's take the sight glass out. Okay, which is also reading that. I'm gonna try blowing on it. You tell me if you see it. <laughs> 
not that difficult. Let's um, let's get a little, let's get the thingy. Oh fudge! Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Come on! Really? How's this thing secured? It's not really. Let's uh, take. Let's get the screwdriver. Take this. Take this off. Hold on one second. Okay. This switch kills power today. Okay. There's our pigtail removed. Yeah. Shove it at your ass. Someone's gonna hate for me doing that. By the way, they can kiss my ass. Now, ready? Just clear. We have a bad pressure control. Yep. Heater. Bad pressure control. I went to the truck, mm -hmm. and I was going to grab a pressure control. Mm -hmm. But I figured, what better way to educate mm -hmm. than to install a vapor stat? I've heard of those. I don't know if I've ever installed. Yep, a vapor stat. Vapor stat yeah. So today, to make their steam problems go away, we're installing a vapor stat. Let's make their steam problems go away. Forget about using a pressure troll. We're using a vapor stat. You want precise control of steam pressure in your residential home? Get a vapor stat. Talk to your plumber. Or give us a call, 516 348 6300. We're based in Valley Street. So here's the vapor stat. And as you can see, we have our main, similar to a regular pressure tool, right? Mm -hmm. And we've even noticed our PSI starts at zero and it goes to five. Mm -hmm. And our differential is subtractive, right? So if we set it for one, right now, look at that ounces. Got it eight ounces. Mm -hmm. So we're at one PSI minus. Minus eight ounces is point one or half a pound of pressure. That's where Dan Hollihan sets to set your steam boilers. Half a pound of pressure is all you need. You got more pressure like what's coming out of here before? No bueno. So that's why we're putting in the vapor stat. Right, our vapor stat is installed. We're not going to be a schmuck like the last guy. We're going to put this down there. That way, for future, we can. Remove the pigtail without having to disturb the electric. Go ahead. I think these might be too tiny. These Let's try. A quarter inch. Send it. There you go. Good. And then we'll uh, restore power. We should put a little level on this. Yeah, I knew we were flying the wrong way. See how we're flying? All right. Give it a little more pitch right there. No pitch. See? Perfectly level. So there's our new vapor stat. We're gonna we're gonna maintain 0.5 half a pound of pressure on the steam boiler, and we have to we insulate these lines. Oh, it's gonna be tits. I tell you, it's gonna be tits. And let me tell you something. What really pisses me off, right? See this? What does that say, Peter? You're a smart man. What does that say, right? This is pipe doctor. Does that say pipe doctor? No. No. Does that say pipe doctor? No. No. Does anything in here say pipe doctor? Yeah, look at it. He's got a valve tag here. Does any of this anything here? And and the valves are stamped. Is anything in here pipe doctor? No. I should give Mike Mike a demotion. Or an unpaid suspension. He gets paid to do his job. Yeah. And the other Mike was here not once, but twice. And there's not a single fucking sticker on any of this equipment right here, and that really pisses me off. Pisses me off, Mike, the other Mike. You didn't do your job.